Welcome back for some heavy news from the sports field. Ravindra Jadeja expectedly uh, turned out to be the biggest draw for the franchises, with Chennai Super Kings buying the young Indian all-rounder for a whopping $2 million in the players' auction for the fifth edition of the Indian Premier League. The 23-year-old, whose base price was $100,000, was in Chennai after the tiebreaker clause was invoked, when the two teams, Chennai Super Kings and the Deccan Chargers, bid the maximum for the Sur Saurashtra player. Both the franchises were asked to bid a secret amount in the tiebreaker, and it was Chennai which managed to outbid Deccan in this. But the cricketer himself will get paid $950,000 as per the contract he had signed with the now disbanded Kochi Tuskers Kerala last year. Muthaya Murlidharan was sold to Royal Challengers Bangalore. Mahela Jaiwardin sold to Delhi Daredevils. Brendan McCullum sold to Kolkata Knight Riders for a whopping 4.41 crore rupees. Herschel Jibs sold to Mumbai Indians for rupees 24.5 lakhs. Bradley Hawes sold to Rajasthan Royals for rupees 2.3 crore. Parthiv Patel sold to Deccan Chargers for rupees 3.15 crore. R.P. Singh sold for Mumbai and R. Vinay Kumar sold to Bangalore. Sri Sant Ramin sold to Rajasthan Royals and Brad Hodge sold to Rajasthan. While Sri Nani sold to the Kolkata Knight Riders. The two players we thought were the तकरीबन तकरीबन मतलब परफेक्टली वही लेकर जा रहे हैं, so it's been a really very successful auction for us. Sahara India withdrew its sponsorship of the Indian cricket team and Pune Warriors today ahead of the IPL auction. Sahara's action comes after the BCCI turned down the franchise's request that the price of Yuvraj Singh be added to their overall purse for the auction. Yuvraj Singh, as you remember, is out of the tournament due to treatment for cancer. Sahara in a statement said that they requested the BCCI on the basis of the fact that they had only one Indian marquee player. Incidentally, once during the Champions League, one of the IPL teams had a lot of injured players, so they were rightly, out of natural justice, allowed to break the rules and take one extra foreign player. They stated that they felt such one-sided emotional relationship cannot be dragged any further. But probably it will not work, probably not. But if anything is to be done for the player's interest, I will think definitely twice. I thought, no, let us, let us put, uh, it will give us more happiness, satisfaction. Let us put all this money in social work, in sports development for villages, rural people, which is not happening in our country. So many things, it was there in my mind, in our mind, to do much better and bigger work. So we have already announced that also. So I don't think we'll be able to do everything together. So that is Well, it's unfortunate, but we haven't received anything in writing. Unless we receive something in writing, how can I comment on that? They have issued a media release, which I have also seen. But unless we get something officially, we can't communicate. IPL will continue. So always goes on. Our, uh, this uh, auction process is already going on. So show will continue. Show is not going to stop. Truth is also, they had requested for flexibility and amendments to the regulation which suited them and which was in the opinion of the IPL unfair to the eight other franchisees. IPL was not prepared to make that exception to one franchise be sitting in the auction room with a much higher purse than every other franchise defeats the purpose of the regulation which we rejected as a proposal that, that they offered. So they choose to act on this basis that it's unfortunate. You have more updates coming up right after a short break. Stay tuned.